Hello America, hope you're having a great Christmas. These are my Christmas flowers. They're not real. Folks, this last week I debated a very accomplished, very funny left-leaning comedian named Lee Camp on the uh, Rick Peterson Show, uh, a show on CJAD, a network based at a little country to the north called Canada. Um, and the only reason I show you this debate, or parts of it actually, you can get the full debate over at the National Center channel. Uh, link is right here, and that's like 10 minutes, so I can't feature it here. But uh, I do this all the time. The reason I'm featuring this one is because A, I could actually get a digital copy, but also it's very... Um, indicative of the mindset I've run into when debating the Occupy movements and comparing it to the Tea Party. I've been doing that a lot lately, really since this movement has started. I'm one of the few people who's managed to make it out to uh, many cities and experience it all across the country. So um, let me show you a little bit right here. I think you probably get a lot of people at uh, the Occupy movement who, who just are frustrated and don't really know what to do. But um, you know, at a certain point, you have to look at the numbers and say, okay, well over 400 crimes committed, violence, uh, places being trashed, as opposed to the Tea Party where people have gathered peacefully. Listen, people can protest peacefully. Uh, and I think we need to determine the difference between protesting and, uh, and disturbing the peace. Let me address these numbers, which I don't know where he's getting these, these crime statistics. See, and that's what every single liberal has done when debating this movement, whether it was on Huckabee, Fox and Friends, uh, left-leaning radio shows, right-leaning radio shows, or relatively down the middle like this one here. They simply say, well, I don't know where you're getting your numbers from, uh, and don't really take the time to address the actual argument. So, uh, I've gotten my numbers from a few sources. Let's just start with a few off the top of my head. I would list the hundreds more, but I don't have the hard drive space. If you folks go to BigGovernment.com, John Nolte has an official list with over 400 incidents involving crime, rape, and theft. And you'll see he never goes on to address the argument, but instead goes on to take the, uh, the route of trying to appease people emotionally. I think that should be looked at as something beautiful, uh, rather than, oh, look at all the crimes, oh, look, a homeless person did something, oh, it's so, uh, these occupiers are horrible people. How about the fact that we aren't going to kick them out and we're going to let them have free food and free clothing and that kind of thing? All right. Well, if I can address that, firstly, in Zuccotti Park, you turn them away. In places like Denver, they weren't turn turned away. They people. absolutely were not. I don't know where you got that. I don't know where you got that from. Well... Again, quick Google or Bing search will show up hundreds of results. Folks, I just wanted to show this to you, A, because if you're conservative, you should know the kind of techniques your opponents will be using when you debate them, and B, if you're liberal, uh, hopefully this video will encourage you to stop sucking and get some new techniques. Happy New Year, you filthy animals.